Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Ajay, Associate Professor, Department of PCE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College, Arava. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the top problems on horn antenna. So today's topic is uh, problems on horn antenna. Uh, these uh, problems are uh, referred to the uh, course antenna waves and propagation. So these problems are referred to the course antenna waves and propagation. Let us start our session today. So let us uh, today discuss about some uh, basic uh, topics, uh, basic topics of horn antenna, basic problems on horn antenna. So here the first problem is determine the length of row of the horn h plane aperture, the flare angles theta e and theta h of a pyramidal horn for which e plane aperture is 10 lambda and the horn is fed with a rectangular wavelet of Te 10 volt and the delta h is given as 0 0.2 lambda, delta is given as 0 0.2 lambda in e plane and 0 0.375 lambda in H plane. So we need to calculate the beam width and the directivity. So here, a horn antenna, we knew, generally we know that the, this is the design of the horn antenna. So the, uh, depending upon the structure of the horn antenna, the electric plane and the magnetic plane, E plane and H plane will vary here. E plane and H plane will vary here. Uh, let us assume this as the E plane, uh, let us assume this as H plane here, theta H value. And this total area we call it as an aperture here. This total area we call it as an aperture here. And we are having some formula to determine the value of the E plane and the H plane angles here. Uh, here we know that uh, for optimum flare horn, theta E is given by 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta here. And there are some basic formula to find out the value of theta H and the theta E also. So 67 degree lambda by AE. Also, theta E is equal to 56 degree lambda by AH. So, based upon this formula, we need to find out the value of theta H and theta E as per the given problem and given data in the problem. And AE is nothing but the, uh, the height of the height of the aperture in the E plane, and AH is nothing but the height of the aperture in the H plane. So, what is the length? What is the length of the aperture in the E plane? What is the length of the aperture in the H plane? These are denoted as the symbols AE and AH in our problem. So AE it is given as 10 lambda here in the given data. So E plane aperture, it is nothing but AE is equal to 10 lambda. It is given as the length of the plane, the length of the aperture in the A plane is given as 10 lambda. So we need to find out the AH value. So we need to find out the AH value uh, through the given data in the problem here. So let us do the problem here. Uh, here, as for the given data, uh, here n is equal to theta e is equal to theta e is equal to given as 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta here. So theta e is equal to 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta here. So rho and delta are given in the problem here. Uh, we can find out directly the value of theta e uh, through the given data. So the delta value is given as 0 0.2 lambda here. And we know that the rho is equal to h square by 8 delta e. So delta H is given as 0 0.2 lambda and the rho is given as h square by 8 delta. So this is equal to a e by 8 delta here. So a e by 8 delta here. So rho is equal to h means 10 lambda whole square divided by 8 into 0 0.2 lambda. So rho is equal to h square by 8 delta. So from the basic formula of rho is equal to h square by 8 delta. So we can find out the h value that is h is equal to 10 lambda given the data and 8 into 0 0.2 lambda is given as 62.5 lambda. So 62.5 lambda. So here uh, flare angle we need to find out the value of theta e. So theta e is equal to 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta. So this is equal to 2 cos inverse of the rho value is 62.5 lambda divided by 62.5 lambda plus the delta value given is 0 0.2 lambda. So if you simplify this you will get 2 cos inverse of 62.5 lambda divided by 62.7 lambda. So lambda lambda get cancelled here. So if you simplify this, the theta e value you will get as 10.25 degrees. So theta e is given as theta e will get as 
to 5 degrees here. So, this is how to find out the value of theta e. So, again we need to find out the value of theta h also. So, from the given data of the problem, we need to find out the theta h value. So, we can find out there is some formula to find out the uh, delta value. So, delta is, is given as 0 0.375 lambda here. So, as for the data given, delta is given as 0 0.375 lambda from the problem here. So, from this we need to find out the value of theta h. So, theta e we got as 10.25. Theta e we got as 10.25 and theta h is equal to 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta. Rho by rho plus delta. So, this is equal to 2 cos inverse of the rho value is 62.5 lambda divided by the rho value is 62.5 lambda. Here the delta values from the h plane is given as 0 0.375 lambda. So, if you simplify this, you will get 12.521 degrees. If you simplify this, you will get the value of theta h as 12.521 degrees. So, earlier we got theta e as 10.25 degrees and theta h as 12.521 degrees. And now let us find out the values of H-plane aperture AE and AH. So, we need to find out the H-plane aperture and the E-plane aperture. So, E-plane aperture is given as 10 lambda as per the problem. We need to find out the value of AH. So, here we know that tan theta is equal to H by 2 rho. So, we know that tan theta is equal to H by 2 rho. And AH, H is nothing but we can represent as AH. So, from this equation, we will get tan theta is equal to AH by 2 rho here. And from this equation, you will get AH is equal to 2 rho into tan theta here. So, this is 2 into the rho value is given as 62.5 lambda into tan. The theta value is we got as in the H plane as 12.521. We got as 12.521. So, 2 into 62.5 lambda into tan of 12.52. So, you will get 27.76 lambda. So, overall if you simplify, uh, we got AH as 27.76 lambda here. Similarly, we got already the, in the given data, AE is given as 10 lambda. AE is given as 10 lambda here. Uh, now let us find out the values of theta e and theta h from the uh, given data again. So we have found out just now the a e and h values. But according to the problem, we need to find out the beam width and the directivity also. So according to the given data, we need to find out the beam width and the uh, directivity. So theta h is equal to 67 degrees lambda by a h and theta h is equal to 67 lambda by a h. So, this is equal to 67 lambda, 67 lambda divided by 27.76 lambda. So, this if you simplify, you will get 2.413 degrees. So, like this you can find out the half power beam width in the h plane. Half power beam width in the h plane is given by 67 degrees lambda by a h. So, it is given by 67 lambda by AH. The AH value we have found out just now as 27.76 lambda. Similarly, AP, the physical aperture of the horn and is given as AE into AH. AE into AH. It is given as AE. AE is given as 10 lambda according to the data in the problem. And we have found out the AH value as 27.76 lambda here. So, D is equal to, we know that uh, 10 log AP by 7.5 AP by lambda square. So, we know that D is equal to 10 log 7.5 AP by lambda square. So, AP is equal to AE into AH. So, we can find out 10 log AP is given by AE into AH into 7.5 divided by lambda square here. So, if you simplify this, you will get 10 log, the AE value is 10 lambda and the AH value is 27.76 lambda, this into 7.5 divided by 
lambda square. So if you simplify this, you will get 33.18 dB. So if you simplify this, you will get 33.18 dB here. So like this, we need to apply the formula and find out the values of AP, the values of directivity, and also the values of half power beam width by applying the formula here. So overall, you will know the directivity in dB as 33.18 dB. So this is, we can find out the rho, uh, rho is equal to 62.5 lambda. So theta is equal to cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta, you will get 10.25 here. Similarly, h plane 0 0.375 lambda we got. Similarly, theta h is equal to 2 cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta. So the value of rho is, uh, we have found out as 62.5 lambda. And the value of delta is given as 0 0.375 lambda. If we substitute here, you will get 12.521 degrees. Similarly, h plane aperture is given by tan theta is equal to h by 2 rho. So h is uh, the another uh, specification, the notation for h is h is ah. So 2 rho tan theta is equal to 2 into 62.5 lambda into tan of 12.521. So this is equal to 27.76 lambda. Similarly, the half power beam width, we can find out as 67 lambda by h. So 67 lambda by 27.76 lambda. So this is equal to 2.413 degrees here. So AP is equal to AE into AH here. And AE is equal to 10 lambda. AH is equal to 27.76 lambda. So D is equal to 10 log uh, 75 into 10 lambda into 27.76 lambda by lambda square. So we got here as 32.18 dB. And similarly, you can find out the directive of the perimeter horn. Uh, calculate the directive of the perimeter horn antenna with aperture size of 12 by 12 centimeters with 3.2 centimeters of wavelength here. So here, you can find out the value. We got the, we have the as per the problem, the given data lambda is equal to 3.2 centimeters here is given here. So we can need to convert this into the meters that is 3.2 into 10 power minus 2 meters you will get the perimeter horn antenna and as in the problem we need to find out the value of directivity so directivity is equal to 7.5 ap by lambda square so just now we have known the formula 7.5 ap by lambda square and 7.5 into uh, the the dimensions are given as the dimensions of the horn is given as length into breadth here this is length and this is breadth or L into B, so L into B by lambda square. So this is equal to 7.5 into, the length is given as 12 into 10 power minus 2. And the breadth is also given as length 2 power minus 2, 12 into 10 power minus 2. By the lambda square, it is given as 3.2 into 10 power minus 2 whole square. This is the formula. If you apply this, you will get 1.5.468 here. So we know that D is equal to 7.5 AP by lambda square. So AP is nothing but the physical aperture area of the horn antenna. The physical aperture area of the uh, aperture area is given as the length into breadth, whose length in and breadth are given as same as 12 into 10 power minus 2 meters. So if we substitute the length as 12 into 10 power minus 2 and breadth as 12 into 10 power minus 2, and if we simplify this, you will get the value as 105.468, the decimal value. So we can also convert this into the dB value by just converting 10 log 105.468 in dB value. So D in dB is given. So we'll get 20.23123 dB. 20.23123 dB. And the last problem is the length of the heat plane sectoral arm is given as 15 centimeters. Design the arm dimension such that it's optimum at the 15 gigahertz value. So we need to design the horn dimensions, the aperture size, the aperture length we need to find out. The frequency is given as 10 into 10 power 9 hertz. Rho, the length of e-plane sectoral horn is given as 15 into 10, 10 power minus 2 as per the data. And the frequency is given as 15 gigahertz. So from this value you can find out the value of lambda as a, Lambda is equal to C by F, 3 10 power 8 by 10 into 10 power 9. It's given as 0 0.03 meters. So first we need to find out the value of lambda. There is a formula for us to find out the E-plane sectoral horn. It is given as 0.25 lambda. So the lambda value we got as 0.03. We substitute 0.03 in the formula of 0.25 lambda. So if we simplify 0.25 into 0.03, you will get 0.75 centimeters. 
Similarly, the height of heat lens sectoral arm, the path difference is limited to 0.25 lambda. Hence, you know, we are having a formula H is equal to root of 8 rho delta. We are having a relationship between the height of the, the length of the aperture, the path difference and rho. So, that is H is equal to root of 8 rho delta. So, from this equation, we are going to find out the value of H. So, root of 8 into the delta value is 0.75 centimeters and the rho it is given as 15 into 10 power minus 2. So, if you substitute here, you will get the value as 0.09486 meters. So, this is the value of H that is 0.09486 meters. Similarly, the flare angles, so theta is given as rho by rho plus delta. The open mouth structure, we call it as a flare. The At what angle this open mouth structure is available in for a harm, we call it as the flare angle it represented as theta. So, theta is equal to cos inverse of rho by rho plus delta. If we simplify this value, we got the rho as 15 in 10 power minus 2 and the rho value is 15 in 10 power minus 2, the delta value is 0 0.75 to 10 power minus 2. So, if you simplify this, you will get the flare angle as theta is equal to 17.75 degrees. So, theta is equal to 17.75 degrees. So, from the given data, so we can find out the horn dimension. So, what must be the flare angle? What must be the uh, the height of the what must be the height of the horn antenna? So, the length of the E plane sectoral horn is given as rho is 15 to 10 power minus 2. So, rho is given here. Delta we need to find out, and also we need to find out the flare angle. The flare angle is 17.75 degrees. So, with this, we close the session today. So, for any references, you can refer UA Bakshi. You can also refer Kerry Prasad, that is the antenna sun wave propagation. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.